Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We are killing it on the Eden streak. Still almost randoming the lost. I'm trying to see how many episodes I can make that my intro in a row here. Oh, but this is scary. Eden's blessing has given us the Necronomicon, I think, which might be a blessing in disguise here, or actually an overt blessing, I guess, based on the name. We also start with Steam Sale and Curse of the Tower. W Saw 6L30. This is the worst, um the worst situation you could find yourself in on an Eden run. Because uh, we don't know how much HP we have on the first floor. And that sets the stage for things to go terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, honestly, like, our damage doesn't seem that bad. But I feel like if we only have one HP, we very easily could lose here. Steam Sale gives us a chance to gain some leverage. Maybe replace Necronomicon with a better uh, item from the shop, like a, a candle in particular. Or I don't even know. Even a car battery or something could be good. Not that it's a replacement, but, uh... This guy's gonna take a hundred years to kill, I just know it. If he ever shoots at me, I'm not gonna be expecting it. Oh, how could you, Tyrone? Look at this guy's swollen fucking ball sack. Please, let me out. I d if he becomes ooze when he gets out, I'm gonna be very displeased. Oh, my lord. Oh. Hey, dude, cool it. We did it, team. Couldn't have done it without you. Great moves. Keep it up. Proud of you. Okay, now let's get focused here. I've been a little zany today. The runs have gone well. You know, D4 runs, they're basically guaranteed wins as long as you don't fight the hush, you know, with no damage but 99 sad bombs that shoot laser beams, which is pretty much what I tried. Okay, we got hit once and lived. There's more enemies remaining back here, so just because it's just this guy, just this little dip back here. What could go wrong? Okay, item room. Be solid, man. Ooh, that's not solid at all. That's extremely non-solid. This may hurt. Yep, yeah, okay. Ruka, why'd you do this to me? Well, that is what it is. Um, Let's just do some randoms for now. I... I'm disappointed in myself, but at the same time, oh, hey, that's a nice random. Um, we'll, we'll take a little bit of a plebiscite about what we should do here. I shouldn't have died on that run. I mean, we started with, actually, now that I think about it, I guess we started with 2 HP, which, again, we shouldn't have died on the first floor with 2 HP, but uh, we kind of got hamstrung there in a little bit of a poor situation. It's the Curse of the Tower, man. I mean, the Curse of the Tower, Curse of the Unknown. Although, you know, you can make the argument that maybe I should have played better with Curse of the Unknown, because, you know, any any hit could kill us, but I find it a little bit of a distraction. You know, it gets in my head, mental game style. But this should uh, make up for it a little bit. I'm assuming that this Zazel run is going to pop off pretty quickly, and then it's up to us to come up with cool synergy. So there's that streak in the books. <laughs> I do have a little bit of a history of having, like, a... A good streak, which I would say that our, you know, 25 streak or whatever was a good streak. And then, we died as the Keeper. When I was actually fairly uh, steamrolling the runs that came in advance of it, I thought. But uh, then afterwards, kind of shit the bed on a few streaks in a row. So we'll, I'll, I'll take a, a little vote maybe on the subreddit and see what people want. Now, of course, this is going to be frustrating for you because if you don't already visit the subreddit, um, the, the poll will be taking place like days in advance of this video actually going live. It's, that's just the way it works, man. If you want the, if you want, uh, you know, two Isaac episodes a day... There's going to have to be a backlog, and the backlog maybe is a little long at some points. So I understand that, but that's, you know, that's why you put money in your bank account. I'm putting videos in my in my video savings account so that if something goes wrong, you know, there, I've got uh, enough to cover me. You know, in case I accidentally get my throat ripped out by a, by a tiger or something, you'll be like, oh, where are the NL videos? I got my throat ripped out by a tiger, but it's okay, because I got uh, 80 videos in the backlog. Speaking of which, have you guys, uh, did you guys have a good Christmas yesterday? I'm just trying to make a joke about the backlog it being long, but it's not that long. I actually forgot that we had killed our boss. <laughs> I thought, I was like, this doesn't ring a bell. But, uh, it was Larry Jr. I recall, Guppy's head was the big pickup on that floor. Like, betrayal isn't worth anything. Um, oh, careful, NL, it's Curse of the Unknown. Betrayal isn't worth, uh, it isn't worth much. What it is worth is us not having to you know, choose to take betrayal in order to get precedent from a deal with the devil, which is, I guess, a better situation, um, for us, but... 
Guppy's head is the big one, not just for the Guppy payout, but of course for the just extra flies, which at this point is basically just like long range uh, assurance that we can actually deal damage to enemies. I think we got a great opportunity to fight our boss here. I just realized we don't even have Curse of the Unknown. We have Curse of the Lost. NL, you okay, buddy? My brain's all right. I don't know. It's, it's not making the, the, the movement to speech quickly enough, or accurately enough at least. I think we just don't take the Book of Belial. Abaddon's a huge pickup, but uh, we could have taken Book of Belial, but uh, I kind of feel like I prefer Guppy's head to it now that it doesn't give us a guaranteed deal with the devil. Still a good item, a uh, borderline great item, I'd say, but uh, it's just not what we need right now. So we're just going to go look for our item room, and then we're out of this floor, and quite honestly, we're cooking with gas. I mean, in, relative to our last uh, <laughs> starting run, that Eden run that just went tits up, uh, this one is out of control. This is going to be... Uh, Probably a pretty easy win. I will, now that I have five bombs, use one bomb to pick up five cents. I don't understand the sticky nickels hate, man. It's it's born of ignorance. They replace uh, they replace pennies, so it's a uh, it's a bonus. Oh right, we're at full HP already. Not to sound cocky. Oh right, that little bon mo. Bon mo, what's wrong, buddy? Just get one and one more, please. I am very disappointed my flies didn't aggro that guy. The fly AI can be a little annoying sometimes. You're always, especially with Rodden Baby, you're like, you aggroed on an enemy that no longer exists, so now it takes you 15 minutes to figure it out. But, uh, you know what? Let's, let's do this. Let's take Friendly Ball. I'm actually going to be a complete idiot and just teleport to our boss fight to go down faster. Um, but uh, let's take Friendly Ball. And my thinking here is that we can use Friendly Ball in an exciting way. And I do think Friendly Ball is much more novel. Oh, that's so huge. I think Friendly Ball is much more novel than, um, no, we don't want to do that, um, than Guppy's Head. You know, we can hit Spacebar item, or we can hit our Spacebar every single room and collect that, you know, compound interest. But uh, instead, why don't we try out something new and see if we can learn some, you know, valuable tactics for dealing with Friendly Ball. An item that I basically don't have any respect for, but could start to have some respect for. I didn't realize the fly was going to be the gate there. I thought it was just going to be the two buttons. So I was like, uh, do I have to shoot the... I have to shoot the, the golden poop to get out of this room? Is that what's going on? I, I am not a clever man. Blasting Cap, I think, is basically horrible as a Zazel. Let's see what this guy deigns to do here. I took this enemy because it's uh, ranged. So I was like, ah, we could use it as like a turret, I guess, or something. Why are you shooting at me, man? I'm, <laughs> I'm your master! I figured that uh, it was better to have a ranged enemy, all things considered, just so that we can, uh, you know, hit enemies from afar. I think if you have an enemy that just, like, crashes into shit, it dies much faster. Yo, what are you doing, dog? You got an enemy that can just serve as, like, a turret. That's something. Daddy Long Legs is pretty good. Seems to fire, like, pretty regularly. I'm not saying it's, like, Mongo Baby level, but it doesn't seem that bad. Do enemies have a damage stat associated with them, or do they all just do, like, the same amount of damage? A.K.A. a half heart or a full heart. Uh, we don't actually want anything on here. If we use Friendly Ball, do we lose our previous Friendly Ball? I don't believe so. Or our previous Friendly Ball familiar. I don't think so, but... Yo, stop shooting at me, man. I'm on your side. Oh, let's try to capture uh, Big Poop on campus here. It worked! I'm interested to try that against the boss. I think, I hope it spawns a bunch of dingles, but my guess is that probably he will just crash into the enemy and die. So I'll try to throw it, like, a little bit out of the way of enemies. We'll see. Or out of, out of the way of peep. It's like, let's throw it down here and see if he spawns a bunch of dingles that are friendly to me. Wow, well, good, good uh, move there. Much appreciated crashing into the enemy and dying instantly. Take this. You know what? We might as well. Like, it doesn't gain us anything, except maybe... We get closer to the Beelzebub transformation. At least there can be some novelness on this run. Some novelty uh, from using the, the friendly ball. It is a Burkano rune, which is pretty much... I mean, I don't want to say it's a waste of our time, but it's not particularly strong. Um, but it is like the ideal, like, snack. It's a snack rune. You know, it's not a rune that you come home with and you say, Honey, I got dinner. It's a Burkano rune. You know, your ass better have brought home the bacon. And by the bacon, I mean a Perthro or a Yara rune. Uh, that was a huge whiff on my part there. Um, but it's a nice snack rune. Like, if you came back and you were like, Honey, 
I just got, uh, oh, I should have taken the red one there. Honey, I got us a couple of Bricano runes. She'd be like, oh, you shouldn't have. It's, I, I already had lunch, but sure, I'll have a Bricano rune. You know, it's, you just use it and then, you know, you're hungry like 10 minutes later, but... Can't blame you for that. Okay, so I I did capture uh, the wall spider. I have no idea what this is going to do for us. Like, it seems like it could go terribly wrong. The range upgrades are nice, but we'll try to use it against the boss. I think the worst thing we could do is capture one of these guys. You capture one of these guys, it's basically like a one-room BBF. That's horrible. So we're, we're trying to find, like, greatness here somewhere. Let me get a little wall spider there. Wall spider seems like it could be very effective. If it okay, it's a little confused. There it is. It's back. It's never going to crash into enemies probably, so maybe this is actually like a really effective enemy to have here. You're freaking me out a little bit though. I also feel like maybe the game's going to crash because it's tr trying to constantly recalculate where this wall spider should be, but hey. Oh hell yeah, take a fat bat tomo fly. We're going to get the best crew here, man. Well, he's finally here, and about time, too, it's the newest member of the Northern Lion crew. He may not have... He may not be cool, and he may not have style, but everything he lacks, well, he makes up in denial. That's not the DK rap. I turned that into, you know, pretty fly for a white guy by the offspring, but... Hopefully when we go down from this floor, we still have this, uh, wall fly. He's, he's doing a lot of great work for us right now. We're going to figure out how to use this friendly ball, man. He's still here. I'm so happy. Okay, now we're going to get a fat bat Tomo fly. He's probably going to crash into an enemy, like, instantly. Or not. Hey, stop shooting at me, man. I'm on your side. Don't crash into them. Keep them alive. We're only one room away from getting our next uh, our next unit. We can't use them for a little while, but still, this is actually hilarious. I'm having a great time with Friendly Ball. I love how they keep shooting at me like I'm their begrudging master. They're like, well, I still hate you, but, you know, you are technically, you know, you own me, basically. All right, let's find a good enemy in this room. What? We shot it through the ghost? Well, to be fair, it is a ghost, so like, I mean, I don't know, I'm not sure what I was expecting. Josh keeps tweeting me, asking me to send him his save file. I'm gonna send you my save file, you joker. You wanna download a real Platinum God save file, just go download it. You don't need me to enable your, your dirty habit. Okay, we got Mr. Boney here as well. This is a good day to be us. I imagine we'll probably lose our friends on this room. Fat Bad Tomo Fly got hit and lived! I, oh, I, I tried to push the bombs out of the way to help Fat Bad Tomo Fly, but he could not be helped, unfortunately. I really did try. Oh, I made a promise to Fat Bad Tomo Fly. Dude, are these wall spiders ever gonna die? I actually have a sneaking suspicion the answer might be no. And that's so fucking sweet. It's like the world's... It's just giving me a good idea for an item, right? Like, these should be an item. Okay, so we don't actually want the champion, because he's just going to crash into enemies and die, even though it sounds like we should use it. Um, he's going to die so quickly, it's not worth it. So is this guy, probably, but, you know, we might as well capture him. Sorry, what? I forgot, we already had one guy. Oh my god, this bony's going absolutely ape shit. Alright, let's capture another, another ding. Oh! The dream! <laughs> we got we got Wally back! Oh man, I was getting scared there for a second. I was like, our wall spider's gone. Wally's back, bitches! Alright, well the bloat has just fucking destroyed uh, the bony, but I'm, I'm still content with this either way. Dude, this is so good. Welcome back, baby. Hell yeah! Now we just need the one that shoots lasers. If we can get him on the womb or something, I'll be happy as a pig in shit. Let's not ignore the fact that this run is actually just like... Oh, it is the one that shoots beams! I didn't even realize. Um, Let's not ignore the fact that this run is also just like really good in its own right. 
But I really love the fact that we've got laser beam bony here. Or laser beam uh, wall, wall spider, not bony. Bony's already dead. Chocolate milk. I don't know what this does for us with this. I, my hunch is it does nothing. Could be wrong. I mean, he, he does spend a lot of time just firing at me. But, you know, that's part of the unique charm that we have together as uh, father and son. Excuse me. <laughs> so these are probably like the world's worst enemies to capture as well because of the fact that they're just not going to help us. Um, they're just going to crash into enemies and die like instantly. Well, okay, thanks. I did try to capture that guy because he was the champion, but no skin off my scrot, I suppose. To be fair, I guess, you know, wall spidery is just like, hey, dog, it's me, it's my way or the highway. Yeah. We're doing so much damage. Let's get the hell out of here. I mean, we may have access to that uh, boss trap room. I don't really care too much. What happens if you capture a wall master? I think it'll just fall on an enemy and die. So let's, let's not even try. That's the spirit of science, right? Let's not even try. Okay, I want to capture one. Oh, you fucking dick. I wanted to capture one of those dudes that just floats around. I figured he would be, like, amazingly useful. I'm pretty sure these dingles are going to be trash, but. Oh, the wall spider! That was my fault. I could stay awake just to hear you breathe. I got to kill these guys. Breathe in while you're far away. You can see him. You know what? Fuck. We've already been in the item room and shop. Let's get out of here. Start doing boss rush and just using the bosses against one another. There should be a boss friendly ball. That would be awesome. I'm starting to come around on this item. Polaroid. We'll take black powder. We don't need Brother Bobby. We got anything good in here? Not good enough to go for, I'd say. I know this is a fast run. I mean, it's 12 minutes and we're down here already, but... It's, it's really just now Northern Lion's quest to get another wall spider back. Oh, you know what? I, we missed him! What? I captured a... I forgot that I had a full charge. I keep messing up my charges. This is my own idiocy, but it would be helpful if there's like a graphical effect that, that shows you um, whether or not the, the Pokeball's full. I don't, I don't like our odds of surviving this one, dingly. Yeah, there he goes. You tried, buddy. I, I really threw you into the lion's nest there. Do lions have nests? I'm going to go ahead and say the answer to that question is yes. Little gurgling. I don't think it's going to be useful. I really think that the best thing is enemies that don't crash into uh, other enemies. Enemies that just shoot are going to be largely ignored, I think. Which is why the wall spider is like 10 out of 10. This guy's not going to do anything for us. Somehow we have not been hit there. We're saving this Empress card maybe for a hush fight, but probably not. Spirit hearts. Yeah, I'm okay with that. What about this blast assist? Doesn't appear. Maybe like a lower level blast assist. Could be a valuable ally. Instead, I whiffed pretty hard on the, the throw there. But we probably also tried to do the throw a little too early. These enemies, I think, would be bad for friendly ball. Now I'm like, the only axis in which I'm considering things on this run is, is it good or bad for friendly ball? You know what? These diglets would be killer for friendly ball. What about brain man? Well, we'll capture him. I kind of thought we, uh, Daddy Longlegs would just kill him. Oh, those... I want one of them. I want that. Brain man. You are gonna be my friend. Get in my ball. Not testi testicularly just in this ball. This ball. All right, so we got brain man. He's coming together with his hands. Nice. Daddy Longlegs just fucking committed fratricide there out of jealousy. We know it, like we know a range up. That's uh, okay. Uh, that's okay. That's pretty bad. And uh, tears downgrade. What a classic selection right there. Alright, well we're a little bit low on HP. We lost like 11 on that floor. That's not ideal. But friendly ball will get us out of this mess, man. I promise. You just gotta find the right enemy. Oh, you know what the right enemy is? 
If, if only there was a way I could do half the room and then capture this gluttony. Ooh, yeah, probably worth it. What if we... Ah, it's just a freaking bomb flying. I wanted, like, one of the fistula parts, but then I realized it would just fly around and then explode anyway. Uh, Silkworm just crashes into stuff, even if this guy does spawn them. Seems suspect for a while. Who's our last one? Loki? Yeah, Loki's just spawning bomb flies, so who cares? Not worth the not worth the time time of day on that one. Gurglings? Nah, dog. We're not in this for a hit it and quit it like uh just say hit it and quit it? Hit it and quit it, uh you know, I'm not Tinder dating with friendly ball here. Oh, it's a diglet. We're looking for something long term. Hell yeah! I think that guy's gonna be pretty good for us. Joker card, maybe? Two of clubs? It's still good. I'm excited to see how this Diglett works out for us. Uh, you know what? I will go to the Cursed Room. I trust it. I don't want the shovel, but Guppy's uh, tail here is good. 4 HP is not, but I'm pretty much just in this to start, you know, buffering the streak out again anyway. So, we're not going to do Hush. Mostly because Hush is actually like a total pain in the ass to do with... Uh, Azazel, unless you get Brimstone or huge range upgrades, which we didn't really get. So that'll take us to Shoal. If we really wanted to piss people off by ending the run early, we could go there. Oh, dude. I would really like the Wall Spider. What happened to my Diglett? He's... G the Wall Spider killed my Diglett. We've... It's like the rule of two for the Sith, man. There can only be... Uh, you know, Daddy Long Legs and one other unit on the screen. Otherwise, they just kill each other. Thanks a lot. That was a kind of a huge investment. I really thought that Diglett was going to do it for us, man. Okay, this is it's going fine. That was very poor damage on my part. We already know we don't want our deal with the devil, so that doesn't bother me. All we got to do is live down to our shop, and we're going to be set here. Or live down to our chest, I should say. Where did that... I thought we only had 3 HP. Did I drop a Spirit Heart somehow? I do have Gimpy. I must have dropped it on top of myself. Okay, so we can capture something here. Are you... What, did I go over top of it? I'd be surprised. Friendly Ball, you know, you, you learn to love it, you learn to hate it. What about this? Okay, I'm sorry, Friendly Ball. You've overstayed your welcome, but also, I want to live. I think we did our part with Friendly Ball there, man. We learned a lot of valuable information. As Alan Jackson would say, we learned a lot about living and a little about love. I learned that the Wall Spider, aka Wally, is the man's best friend. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any more Wallies left, so I don't really mind this. We're just gonna, you know, Tammy Brim here and win the game in record time. Or lose the game in record fashion. It's also completely plausible. Try not to walk into enemies in spite of the fact that you're exceptionally strong. Oh yeah, HP. I believe it. I'm really worried that I'm actually going to sharp plug myself in the, ooh, it was. I'm really worried that I'm going to sharp plug myself into having 1 HP by accident. That was like really really bad damage on my part. Oh my god, that was so much worse. Thank you, Gimpy. Gimpy's kept us alive here. I wouldn't say Gimpy's carried us, but it has paid out at some opportune moments, you know. You get carried by something every run. Whether you see it or not, that's the only question. Hopefully we don't die. We really shouldn't with Brimstone Tammy's head. It's not really Brimstone, but you know what I mean. Um, but I think my fundamentals are off today. My, my hands need to get warmed up. That's like, <laughs> it's an incredibly good selection. I'm going to take technology to see what happens. Nothing, at, well, it gives us that sweet, like, uh, laser that wraps around our brimstone beam. That might actually give us a damage buff, too. I don't know. It looks cool, especially if you can actually see it better, which we can't because, uh, our, our tier is, like, chocolate milky, so it's, like, kind of brown here, but, uh, the Halo pickup is awesome. You know what else about Halo is awesome? The soundtrack. It's still great, man. Da ba da bound, da ba da bound, da ba da bound. 
You know what I'm talking about. That's that's track seven. It's called the Halo Man's Halo Dreams by Getty Lee. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. And you are dead. We're pretty much like at this point with this much HP, we're pretty much just uh you know, running out the clock on this run. We should not lose. My shadow doesn't make it any more likely that we'll lose. It probably makes it about 0% more likely that we'll win as well, but it's fun nonetheless. And we'll just steamroll the back half of this run with Tammy's head, Brimstone, Daddy Long Legs. Ooh, no, we're not at uh, even close to spun levels yet. You know, our luck stab is actually holding it down. The bean is so much worse than Tammy's head. I don't, you don't need me to tell you that, I'm sure, but it was like an insult that they even offered. Okay, we have not been in this direction. Which is a big surprise for me. Oh, okay, sure, I'll take Proptosis. Seems like this could be good for us. Yeah, it seems to be uh, speeding things up, you know, ever so slightly, I'd say. We may actually be at the point where we one hit... Uh, Blue baby now. And that's a 21 minute long run. Now we didn't do boss rush or the hush fight, but still. That's a pretty absurdly powerful run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it in spite of the streak ending. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.